Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Stress and Pain Relief Hypnosis Podcast. So, hi, how you doing? Hope you're well. And before I start, just to let you know, the the old birdies are in the loft, <laughs> which is weird. They're having a, I think they're having a party. And Herbert the pigeon is in a tree in the distance. I'm surprised pigeons don't get fed up with their own sound. Cause it's, it is a bit samey, isn't it? It's the same... It's almost like they're just moaning. Just moaning about stuff. Anyway. In this recording... Like, you know, a lot of the other recordings I do in this podcast... I ask you to focus on a particular part of your body. I'm going to do the same here. And you can focus on my voice. So not be concerned with any other background sounds, your side or mine. Something I learned years ago was that in order to do relaxation or hypnosis or anything like that, silence is not needed. It's not even relevant. It's not not required at all. Even a hypnosis session you know, hopefully leading to sleep, doesn't need complete silence. In fact, oh, Ferris just, Andre the Ferris just popped up to say hi, that's nice of him. Um, The fact is, if someone's wanting to go to sleep, okay, and there's background sound, and they say, oh, I couldn't get to sleep because of the background sound, what they're really saying is, I didn't allow myself to fall asleep. Because of my reaction to the background sound. You know, I kept focusing on it. And the more I focused on it, the more angry I got, frustrated. And that got in the way of uh, allowing me to just relax and fall asleep. I know that not everyone thinks that way or realises that that's how they're thinking when the reality is we don't need silence of course there is a limit you know Um, if someone's vacuuming your bedroom carpet while you're in bed trying to get to sleep and they're they're banging the side of the bed and they've got this, you know, because vacuums are generally quite noisy. Yeah, well, why, how would, you know, that's going to get in the way of falling asleep because it's intrusive upon your space. But having someone mowing the lawn in the garden, that doesn't have to get in the way. Because what I noticed, and I know this this recording isn't necessarily for sleep at all, but 
what I noticed is when I'm lying down in bed before I fall asleep my ears seem to just stop working in the normal way so and I noticed that so I'll be drifting or I'll be asleep and then I'll wake up and maybe a couple of seconds later my ears start to hear So I don't know what the process, the physical process is for that to happen. But it's pretty good. It's quite impressive. Which means if your ears can be switched off by your mind... then what else can be switched off? And you're probably <laughs> ahead of me on this one. You're probably like, yeah, okay, just get on with it, Jason. You're now talking about switching off stress or switching off pain, aren't you? Yeah, but I wasn't going to just rush into it. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not switch off a physical feeling or physical sensation that you wish to not experience? Makes sense to me that that would be something that could be extremely useful for all of us to be able to take advantage of such a useful and simple process such as switching off that particular area or that physical sensation So let's just test it with some parts of your body which just feel neutral. You know, not necessarily uh, got much in the way of any feeling. Just, you know, it's just there. And that has probably been most of our body until we decide maybe to experience more pleasure more comfort and relaxation. Yet, the thing is, the more often you listen to me, the more often you feel relaxed. Now, so, as I said, we're going to test this switching off with a neutral part of your body and by switching off it's not about having no feelings at all it's more about not caring about the feelings it really is about not caring 
one bit. So for example, you're focusing on your right knee. So let's say that's a neutral part, not really much going on there. And you can focus on that part. And you can imagine just pressing the off button. Maybe it's a big red button. You could just has off. Maybe next to it is one that says on. You just press the off button on your right knee. So that any sound that was happening, any kind of vibrations, any anything that was happening before, it can just stop. But as you look and focus on your right knee, you don't care how it feels. It's unimportant to you. So you pressed the off button. all you've done really is just pressed off the caring button it doesn't mean that you don't care about your body or your knee or your any other part of course you know you do but you don't care how it feels you don't care how your knee feels it's unimportant it's literally the least important thing in the world right now you know it's up there with you know what did your the person that changed the tyres on your car last that person, what did they have for breakfast today? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Unimportant to you. Relevant to their life, but not to your life. Do you really care what the weather is going to be like on the 1st of November? Maybe you do, but chances are you don't care. And if you do care about the weather, then just let that go. Because it's ages away. You know, we're in May now. Let's, you know, let's have a, let's enjoy the summer first before we get concerned about what weather's going to be happening in November. And that's how you view your knee through that attitude of literally not caring. In fact, so, so little interest that you really don't want to focus on it because you can't be bothered. It's boring. But, you know, you're doing it because I've asked you to do it. So as you notice how your knee feels, I mean, I'm focused on mine. It's very light, almost like fluffy and light and... Um, kind of pins and needles but without the pins and needles if that makes sense it's very cool but I don't really feel it so now what we're going to do is focus on the part of your body which you would like to turn off. I'm going to focus on my lower back, 
which is a, a place I go to quite often because that's where I have chronic pain. If you've got some stress, a part of your body that is stressed, you can focus on that part. So just choose which part you're going to focus on. Focus on it now. So I'm focusing on my back. And now press that off button again. Click it. Off. Again, as I said, it's not it's not just about switching off being able to physically feel, it's switching off caring. Just focus on that part of your body, realizing that you don't care. It's almost like you've got a proper attitude, like I don't care about how that part of me feels. I've got no interest can't think of anything that I'm less interested in right now than that part of my body. If you think of a sport that you really don't like, a sport that you have zero interest in, and imagine what the scores are of the latest game of that sport. Now that sense of boredom and pointlessness is how you're feeling in that part of your body. Just allow it to become how it becomes. Allow it to, you know, you, you turn the switch button, you've pressed the off button. You've given that part of your body permission to switch off. And you've given yourself permission to not care about that part of your body at the moment. Noticing. I'm noticing my back and there's zero going on there. 
There's no physical feelings at all. you can do the same with other parts of your body if you choose just decide to focus on whichever part you want press that off button in your mind 